these problems may be real as well. Maybe, maybe this ideal Rothmanism has to be done in a way that makes sense. So that's what I'm here to do today. I wrote a lot of books over the years, but the reason why I did that is essentially I thought, well, when I first got started in the Rothman diet, I didn't get the right information. So I just thought, well, maybe I can create these products so that people who are starting today can get the right information and not make the same mistakes I made. What will you learn today? Why eat raw? It's not what you think. So I have a different point of view on that. Very different than some other raw food people. How to increase your energy naturally. Uh, a little bit about that. The benefits of the raw food diet. Why not all raw food diets are the same? And the ideal raw menu is how it works in practice. What does it look like? I have a warning for you. This is not a lecture from a raw foodist. I used to be a raw foodist. A raw foodist would be someone who only eats raw food all the time. And I used to be a raw foodist for about three or four years. And then when I realized that the diet wasn't working, then I became a cooked foodist, or a normal person. <laughs> and uh, I actually started to experiment. And I, I might still be a, a true raw foodist today if the diet I followed at the time had actually given me the results that I desired. But what happened is I actually had to do a lot of experiments on myself over the years to discover what works. Now what I preach is a message that incorporates raw foods or the concept of raw foods. But I'm here to tell you that this is not the only answer. It has to be balanced with another wider set of principles. And I think you'll understand my position by the time we reach the end of the lecture. Raw foodism, like other isms, can become a religion where the God is raw food and you must follow the God. And you must do, just follow blindly one principle. And people have been asking me, well, if you're on my website, you know I'm coming up with this new book for raw, called Raw Controversies. One copy was printed so far. And uh, my assistant got it the other day and she says, it looks beautiful. So I'm, I'm very relieved. And the, this book really tells my story. This is sort of a, a diet biography. Harley, you've read the book? Yeah, yeah. Could you give us the rundown of the book from the perspective of someone who's read it? Just uh, Fred's story, where he came from, why I got into it, his journeys in the buses, traveling Greyhound, eating bags of apples, to being taken in by David Wolf and Co, and what he learned, and what he saw, and the mistakes he saw people make, the mistakes Fred made. And uh, I, I like the book because it shows you where the mistake was occurred and why and what to do to avoid that happening. So it wasn't just a, a stone throw book with no solutions. It was a book where it said, hey, this is a problem. This is how we can avoid it. So I wish I had a book like that, you know, eight years ago. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's a book that my wife Veronica told me I had to, to write because I didn't want to write it. I just said, well, I've said enough in my first book, you also heard about my story, but she said, you only wrote two paragraphs. <laughs> so I, I decided to write a book. So the first half is sort of my story, and then the second half is new nutritional information and really useful tips, specifically about the, the questions that a lot of people ask about specific issues that are not 